السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس از دا ڈسکشن آف دا لاسٹ ایس اے کوشچن آئی ہیو سینٹ یو ان دس کوشچن دے آر آر تھری سولوشنس سوڈیم ہائیڈروکسائڈ ہائیڈروکلورک ایسڈ اینڈ سوڈیم کلورائڈ آف کنسنٹریشن ون مول پر ڈیسی میٹر کیوب آر پٹ سپریٹلی ان ٹو ٹیسٹ ٹیوبس اے بی این سی Roman number one. The tests are carried out by students to identify the solutions separately and the observations made are given in the table below. The test one says, the test one says, dipped red then blue litmus paper in the solution A. Dipped red then blue litmus paper in the solution A. Blue litmus paper didn't show any color change. and the red blue uh, litmus paper turned to blue and that confirms a is a base a is a base so among these three the base is sodium hydroxide and dip the red and blue litmus paper in the solution b red and blue litmus both are not showing any color change then b we confirm it is neutral if both of them are not showing color change it is neutral out of these sodium chloride is a neutral material sodium chloride is a neutral material then automatically c will be hydrochloric acid so this is how we identify the first one there's no anything but they have told in the beginning there is one of this one is hcl then automatically c is going to be hcl question number 2 when 100 ml of each of the solution any oh and hcl stated above are mixed in a thermally insulated vessel the temperature of the mixture rose up by 5 degrees celsius write the balance chemical equation for the reaction between any oh and hcl when writing this balanced chemical equation for the a part don't forget to write the physical states hydrochloric acid aqueous any oh aqueous ro any cl aqueous plus h2o liquid that way you have to write the answer okay uh physical states are very important it is already a balanced equation so you don't need to additionally do balancing now the b question when you consider calculate the uh, heat change associated with the reaction mentioned above specific heat capacity of water is given density of water is given here if you take the total volume each 100 ml mixed together mean 200 ml mass equal to volume multiplied by density so mass of that water equals to 200 milliliter milliliter is the cubic centimeter into 1 gcm minus 3 remember milliliter and cm minus 3 are uh, equal uh, units so no problem you can write it as this then the mass will be coming to you 200 gram so you have to show your examiner that you are taking this mass this is how you are getting this mass 
and thereafter you are applying q is equal to mc theta okay writing this equation will give you separate marks right in this one the q is equal to mass should be given in kilogram so we divide it by thousand that many kilogram into specific heat capacity 4200 joule per kilogram per kelvin into 5 kelvin 5 degree celsius increase mean 5 kelvin increase when you solve out this uh, this is going to be 0 0.2 0 0.2 into 5 is 1 then it's automatically uh, 4200 joule will come as the answer so we have found the q value as answer for the b then finally they are asking in the roman number three the assumptions two assumptions one the density of the mixture density of the final solution is equalized to density of pure water same way specific heat capacity of final solution is made equal to specific heat capacity of specific heat capacity of pure water and one more assumption there does no any uh, heat loss taking place to the external environment okay so that is the discussion of that particular question so i am sending the next question to you today you children get the answers send it to me bye